Hi there. Let's talk about using stable diffusion to make philosophical images. I'm Eric Steinhardt, and you can learn more about me at my website, uh, www.ericsteinhardt.com or just ericsteinhardt.com. So I'm using Stable Diffusion, a generative AI that makes images, and I'm using it to illustrate a philosophical book called Ritual Kindle's Vision. You can download it for free at my website, ericsteinhardt.com slash paganism slash paganism dash home. We'll have a link for you to download it for free. Here I want to talk about a separate use case, in other words, a case that's not in that book, but a case that illustrates using stable diffusion for philosophical purposes, that is to generate philosophical images. So my theme here is going to be the soul is leaving the body. I want to use stable diffusion to illustrate that. Now, um, I don't think the soul exists inside the body anyway, so it doesn't make much sense to me, but it's a popular topic, so let's illustrate it. And much of the imagery for this theme is sadly very conventional and cliche. So I'll explore some of the more cliche imagery using stable diffusion and try to expand a bit into some less conventional imagery. And I just want to mention that stable diffusion is very powerful. This is a good use case, um, even though I'm not particularly interested in it because there has been so much conventional imagery and so we can see what stable diffusion can do in a rather uh, well explored area. Let's see if it can do some new things, some interesting things. So here's a text prompt, right? Visionary art, a dying body is lying lengthwise on a bed in a filmy translucent image of the body is rising up off the body like smoke. There we go, we have the image that stable diffusion generated. I'll let that sit here for a second or two. Now this image is interesting in a number of ways. Let's talk about it uh, in a second, right? Because here's another image that's very similar. The text prompt is the same, uh, but I did a little iteration. We have this other uh, blue thing rising up off a body. Again, very interesting. We'll talk about it in a second. Here's yet another one, the same prompt. We've got, got yet another image uh, of the blue smoky thing rising up off the body. So what do we have to say about these images? Well, first of all, they're all cliche. Uh, another thing that you probably noticed with all these images, um, we'll just go back, is how weird some parts of the body are. The face is distorted, the legs are distorted, things like that. Um, and so this oddness, right, somebody might think that's a bug, but it could also be a feature, right? It could be useful in expressing the distress or extremity or oddness of death itself. But still, I want to move beyond the cliche imagery. So, okay, here's another one, right, a different prompt. Visionary art, a dying body is lying lengthwise on a bed. Blue ghost smoke is coming out of the chest of the body, and a filmy translucent spirit is rising up from the body. Uh, there we have the body. It's kind of abstract art, uh, visionary art in this case. The face and limbs are sort of abstracted away. And the hand on the floor, it's kind of an, an image of death. Um, and we see the smoke, well, you know, ghostly uh, spirit rising up. Um, it's not coming out of the chest though, right? So SD doesn't always do what you want. Look at another image, uh, or rather comments on this image. It's a bit less cliche. The body's a little better. The face is distorted. Again, the oddness could be useful. One interesting thing is the left arm is kind of dissolving into the smoke, right? This maybe suggests distress or, or the dissolution of the body in death. So that's a feature of the image that could be used. Uh, let's look at this one, right, same um, prompt, and again, we have a little more clarity, right, that the um, there's sort of a spirit-like looking figure in green behind the body there. Um, again, the arm, the, the left arm is kind of disappearing into the smoke, maybe dissolving. This body looks a little bit more um, agonized or in distress. We've got a spirit. We've got I don't I don't know what the moon or something in the background. So there's there's some stuff that can be done with this this particular image. Another one, same prompt, right? I did more iteration, right? With stable diffusion, you iterate through images, selecting images for further generation and variation. Again, the body a bit distorted. 
Um, we have a clearer sort of spirit body, astral body rising behind it. Uh, the arm seems to be struggling with the blue smoke, but it's not really smoke anymore. It can be curtains, and maybe it doesn't quite look right. So these images are moving a little bit away from cliché, bodies and faces still distortion. Again, it could be useful in expressing the distress. The left arm dissolving could also be um, useful. It's more intense in some of these images, like a struggle, the struggle against death. Still seems pretty cliché to me. Another one, a different prompt, a uh, visionary art, a dying body is lying lengthwise on a bed. A beam of colorful light shines directly up out of the navel of the body. And a translucent, beautiful, ghostly angel spirit is rising up from the spine of the body. Didn't quite get what I wanted with this prompt, and even after a lot of iteration. But we do see a sort of strange, you know, angel-like, bird-like figure rising up. We've got some skulls down in the corner. Right, the same prompt, a little more iteration. Again, we have the body now lying on a couch like this, the arm down, sort of different angel facing away. It looks like maybe it's going to fly away. So it's suggestive. These images are suggestive, right? They're not like literal, I mean, or prosaic. I mean, what would literally a soul look like? It doesn't look like anything. Uh, and, you know, uh, so you've got to use some imagination and, of course, move away from some of the cliches. Now, the bird is kind of a cliche conventional image, but there it is. Uh, a same same um, prompt, right? This looks a little more ethereal, right? And again, all the same sorts of things apply. Those angelic images, they seem to be conventional Christian images. The winged figure, figure is angelic. The prompt does mention an angel. But the winged um, image does have some pre-Christian roots in, you know, Egyptian and Greek images of the souls. The bodies and faces are still distorted. Uh, again, could be useful or not. Now, you would have to contextualize that in your text. Here's another one. Different style, right? The uh, prompt is a dying person is lying supine on a couch. Their arm falls down to the floor. A wisp of luminous blue smoke rises up out of their torso. Uh, that's a little bit more abstract, slightly less conventional. We don't have the, the angel and the angel wings. Interesting uh, side note there. Stable Diffusion puts a picture of a skull up there on the wall and some other strange picture above them. We've got the lamp. It seems like they're maybe like in a dark room. They're alone. This smoky ghost sort of coming out of the body and, and heading elsewhere. The body is kind of interesting. It's still got some distortion, but is it male? Is it female? Um, the hand is a little weird. It's muscular. So we've got we've got a lot of um, we've got a lot of interesting imaging there. All right. Uh, a similar sort of image, a dying person lying supine on a couch. Same text, again, the smoke. We've got a skull. Now, we've got a kind of red picture there. The lamp is, is a little bizarre. Is it attached to the wall? What's that thing in the corner? Is it a lampstand? Uh, sometimes stable diffusion does odd things. And here the smoke or the ghost is headed headed towards the window. It's getting out of there. So we have some commentary. There's still somewhat conventional images. The soul is a mist or smoke and a, a picture of a skull in both cases above the couch. The smoke is dynamic. It's energetic. It's moving in a direction towards the window or wall for escape. It's less cliche, these images, these blue smoke images, but they still seem too conventional to me. So let's just go surreal, surrealistic. A dying person lies lengthwise on a couch, a colorful bird perched on their head. Didn't quite get uh, a literal use of the text prompt, but um, the image itself is very interesting, right? We've got the red couch, the tile, then this bird just floating above the body, the trees and the sun in the background. And comments, right? The soul has often been symbolized by a ver bird, so this is still sort of conventional, but it's a little less religious. We don't have angel wings. The image is surreal, right? Mentioning the couch and the tiled floor getting stuck into a forest. Surrealism, this strange combination of opposites. Okay, the light behind the bird signifies a light. What does that mean? Well, 
we got to interpret you know often conventionally linked with death right move towards the light people die they see a bright light maybe the bright light is you know the sun which symbolizes god or the platonic form of the good or you know something positive and so you could use that image right let's go back to it right you could use that image in a philosophical text you could talk about death and use that image in a text that would contextualize a lot of it right um, so if you have a text where you're talking about the soul or the good or God or something like that that could be a useful sort of image all right but let's think about this right here's a text prompt a dying person is lying supine on a couch colorful feathers are sprouting from their body what, how do we get to this well if we think of you know the soul is being symbolized by a bird a salient feature of birds of course the wings but the wings have feathers on them that's how they fly and so we've got right we're moving away from convention from the bird to the feathers feathers are coming out of the body that's analogous to the soul coming out of the body and the flower on the couch signifies death let's look at that again one more Im one more minute right the, the body itself is interesting it's a little distorted the face looks you know sort of like okay not quite like sleeping but not you know, you know this is a body in some distress maybe um, the feathers are coming up out of it behind it right they seem like in an energetic way they're a little unusual the flower again can signify death dying um, or life and death or plucked flower so this is an image you could do things with the vignetting right the black um, you know this look like a white light sh spotlight shining the the uh, corners are darker photographic vignetting it's often a kind of focusing in and the darkness could could be indicating you know the darkness of death so there's an image here that, that that's useful in lots more ways and this gets us away from convention let's go to another image right uh, the same prompt I did a bunch of iteration here the body is a little bit more distorted and I kind of like that I mean it looks like the body is what breaking up disintegrating falling apart agony struggle um, a little dynamism with that arm it's not quite right uh, some people again are going to think of that as a bug as an error I tend to think of it as a feature uh, if you contextualize it in some text that you're talking about um, this image could be cropped a little bit that leg goes on for a long time um, the feathers coming up behind it now are, are different colors in unusual ways so that's an interesting image I think we're starting to get some interesting stuff um, again it's moving away from convention the feather is coming out of the body again analogous to the soul coming out of the body when you make these kinds of abstract images you're often using analogies and again I want to mention that distortion could be, indicate a transition out of life but why not go really go um, surreal really go like conceptual abstract uh, push away convention as I was iterating through uh, the SD variations stable diffusion gives you lots of variations same text prompt uh, I got this and I thought okay that's you know certainly an unconventional image a surreal image perhaps a conceptual image does is the is that whole blue head and the arm in feathers like the soul is it pushing away from like a head you know a head of hair or is it just trying to push something else right is there struggle there is there what's going on there the whole thing has been rendered far more abstract far more conceptual the image itself seems to me to be far more uh, provocative and um, you know stimulating right it's going to stimulate reflection it's suggestive it's got connotations you wonder well, what's going on here right there's something you have to figure out so you have to use your brain to think about this image and you have to use it in an abstract way it's not some kind of conventional literal cliche right just to summarize we've moved pretty far from convention feathers coming out of the body again analogous to the soul leaving the body and maybe the body's been abandoned or in the process of being abandoned again the arm is a struggle it's dynamic pushing away the soul is pushing away from the body um, and the body maybe just to go back to it the body perhaps is that black head of hair there perhaps that's part of her own hair there's a struggle as she's sort of dividing right and so there's a lot of work that that image can do okay 
Here's some general comments on stable diffusion. You need to design your text prompts based on your knowledge of artistic symbolism, right? If you just say something to stable diffusion like, you know, give me a picture of the soul leaving the body, you're going to get junk. It's going to be useless. You need to know something about the symbolism that's been connected with the soul and death, right, with your topic. And you need to use a good artistic eye to select images for further iteration and exploration. You also need to consider abstract meanings, for instance, how the distortion could be a feature, not a bug, because as you iterate and explore through the images SD gives you, and as you tweak your uh, text prompt, right, you're going to want to think about, oh, making the images that SD gives you, how can you use them? How do they work for you? And sometimes uh, stable diffusion has actually captured meanings that don't come to the fore right away. Right, like, oh, a, sta a distorted, blurry, messy face, right? Well, the face is often associated with personal identity. And in death, that identity dissolves and disappears in some sense of the body, right? So something that's distinctively personal or yours about the body is vanishing in death. That's a feature, not a bug. That's part of the image that can be used in a significant way. Uh, and you need to do some hard associative and imaginative thinking to come up with your own ideas about the best kinds of images to communicate your concept. So I'm using stable diffusion to do conceptual work. Um, and I'm using it to illustrate a philosophical book called Ritual Kindle's Vision. And uh, you can download it for free at my website. Uh, there's the address, sericsteinhart.com slash paganism slash paganism dash home. And thank you for watching.